advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Uh, this, uh, this is probably gonna be spoiler filled. Like, oh, it, yeah. like, yeah. so, um, juicy. but before we get into that, uh, this was fucking amazing. Yeah. This was a, an amazing game. Yeah. Yo, go ahead. No, oh, I'm like, I did not have the fatigue I had with season two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this, um, this still gives me a little bit of the classic pandemic fatigue, but only because, um, just pandemic. We'll do that. Yeah. But, yeah. What, what a, what a good, like, accomplished feeling. It's like right. being fatigued, but you're like, I'm so worth it. I, I'm right there with you because we, t we, we played three games in a row to finish it out, and I feel like if we did that. No, we do that for season one. We play about three games, and that's like the max. Mm -hmm. Like three games of Pandemic Legacy. It's it's taxing. You're yeah. like mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we. I was well, what I was gonna do. The reason why I started off that way was if uh, I was gonna have us rate it um, for people who don't want spoilers. Um, but. Yeah, let's just do that, and then we'll talk. We'll go into spoilers. So, yeah. uh, if you had to give this on a scale of one to ten, what would you what would you guys give it? Hmm. I don't want to start. Uh, I am I am honestly this was my favorite out of all three of them. Okay. You haven't done season one, um, but we've kind of explained, and I think I gave you I got I got you caught up on the story when yeah. we started season right, two. Yeah. Um, if I had to rank them, it would be this one, it's season two, then season one. Um, I really enjoyed season two as because it, it was unique enough and the exploration and the story was really well done. Season yeah. one, going back through it, uh, while still fantastic and innovative when it first came out and it took the world over by storm. It was number one on Morgan yeah. Geek for the wow. longest time. Wow. Yeah. Uh, then Gloomhaven took it over. But uh, it, it it still feels like Pandemic until about halfway through. This one, right off the bat, you're like, oh, this is not Pandemic. Oh, no. um, I'm going to give this a 10. Okay, I yeah. I thoroughly <laughs> I, I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I got if even if I do have some negatives, which I have a few, they're very nitpicky. Mm -hmm. That it's like oh whatever the overall like atmosphere and story and writing and changes of the entire game while still keeping core pandemic Choices there. And, and, yeah, and customization. It's, yeah, it's everything I want out of a series. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can I cannot give it anything less than a ten. <clears throat> I'm staying on the same boat. Really? It, it really was, it was a good time. Like, yeah. I would recommend this. If you are into legacy gaming, mm -hmm. this is definitely a must-have. Yeah. 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 I agree. Were you also giving it a 10? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just didn't want to... I didn't want to get, like, too excited. <laughs> right. And then, and then be like, oh, maybe it shouldn't have been. But it, it's... Yeah. I mean, everything we've said so far, just, like, my favorite part is the customization, like, being able to control our characters so well. Um, the story, like... Well, we'll get into that in a second. Yeah, yeah. So, I just wanted to get our rankings. So, yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind good. of, but if you want to stick around and talk and, and hear what we really liked about it, getting into the nitty gritty of it, then stick around. But you know, uh, I think all of us are going to say if you're on the fence, because I think, I think you were kind of like, oh, Cold War, eh. Mm. Like, I, you weren't too keen on it. Um, and I was initially like, oh, season zero. Oh, I was really hoping for a season three. You know, it continues the effects of everything, um, but yeah. still, I as far as I know, they are done. This was the there was a, it was a trilogy. You never know; they could easily just be like season three. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think they should, but who knows? Maybe it'd be too much of a good thing. Cap it off at a That's trilogy. Be. Yep, sometimes. But yeah, <clears throat> so so yeah, definitely grab this if you are on the fence and you want to play any of them. What order would you would you? play them in. Would you do zero, one, then two? I would play this one and then stop. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my opinion. Because <laughs> this one was great. I mean, two two was good. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think I liked it better than your base pandemic games that you'd introduced me True. to. Yeah. I enjoyed how it was modular and then they create the map. That was right. really neat. Um, but it was still a lot of pandemic. Yeah. I mean, this one was just so much different from mm -hmm. the, their normal uh, equation that I really enjoyed it, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I think I'm kind of torn. I think you should do one, two, then zero. I think you should play them out mm. that way. I think it is interesting, um, you know, kind of having, like, like a normal show. Like, oh, yeah, we had, like, uh, the first two seasons and the show ended. But now it's like, okay, well, we're going to do a spinoff and it's it's the prequel. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, I, I think it would also just be interesting, like, going in blind, like telling someone about this and be like, hey, just 
<clears throat> play season zero first, because then they're like, oh, cool, there's this weird thing mm-hmm. um, called Coda that's running around, and then you play season, season one, one. And, and you start to slowly, like, the gears turn, and you're, oh, like, yeah. and you're like, translucent skin, like... Yeah, I guess you would actually get that same feeling, because I was thinking the opposite. It would just be is different. You, you yeah. play season one and two, and then you play this one. And then all the references from the other two are Which is out. obviously mm-hmm. how we did it. I mean, it was still great. But right. yeah, it would just be um, just a reversed effect of just slowly being like, oh, shit. Yeah. I think I heard someone mention that they would they would recommend doing one, zero, then two. I was thinking about that, too. But then also maybe what if you're like, what are they doing with the jellyfish? Like, if you play this one first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I would be like... I haven't played one, so yeah. I don't know if like the game mechanics have changed like that much. Because this one felt really refined, very balanced. Right. So I would hate to like play this one, get used to how you know refined it is, and then right. play like one. And you said it was still pretty well. It was. It was pandemic. pandemic. Yeah. So I mean, you still, you still, you know, you still had the the uh, outbreaks and all that, and you felt the repercussions of doing poorly. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, the decisions weren't based off of what you like story decisions. It was more. Okay, you know we're gonna ignore that area of the map, and it starts outbreaking, and you feel those repercussions mm-hmm. more of a mechanic than more of a theme uh, driven. There was and, no like question error. Um, There's no ethical question. Yeah, error. there wasn't any of that. So it it was still, hey, you have four diseases, and you you cure those diseases for a good long while until boom, here's here's the twist, mm. uh, and then you have more twists later on. But yeah, it it is the per- one is the perfect introduction to a legacy game. Because, oh, hey, you know Pandemic? Yeah, okay, boom, we're going to do that. We're going to play Pandemic and then slowly introduce the legacy aspects as you continue going. Mm-hmm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't start anyone with this. This one's, boom, oh, right off the bat. A lot of doors, a lot of stickers, a lot of, yeah, lot of nice. changes. Gotcha. Um, but still, they're, I, think, I think they're all fantastic. Yeah. They're like the pinnacle of legacy games in, in the genre. Mm-hmm. That if everyone's like, we got a legacy game, it's like, okay, I guess we'll play it. Then it's like, wow, you have 90 sheets of stickers. <laughs> I guess that's what you thought a legacy game was. Um, they have just, like Matt Leacock and Rob Davio have truly ironed out the formula for mm-hmm. what makes a good game. We like to goof on them, but great. Yeah, great. So, so now, uh, if you don't want to you know, get into spoilers, then... Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series if you watched it. Um, but, yeah, other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. All right, spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler time. What was your guys' favorite? I hated it. I liked it when we saw Sabic's dick, and it was all, like, weird. And <laughs> it was. It looked like a jellyfish. <laughs> no. That's um, what was in the box. It, it was, was a bar. It was, it was box you. five. Yeah. It was, it what is this? No. I want it back. His little dangle. Um, my favorite part? Yep. Like, just in general, like, my favorite... Um, I think my favorite part was um, easily... Making the characters? Customizing our characters. That was pretty fun. That was uh. hilarious. We were little giddy children when we got to put these together. We were right. laughing about what to name them. Um, I think customization in a legacy game is super fun, super important, because yeah. while the game can take a serious turn, it's good to have, like, a lighthearted, like... Like you, you know, my pussy. My pussy on my neck, my, my back. back. Lick yeah. my pussy on my crack. Yeah. And then, like, we had our our little gentle, like, just just silly shit like that to. Old Tempest. To have some Old yes. Tempest. And then, like, the stupid glasses and and. They gave you so much to customize. Yeah. So many yeah. uh, different characters to play as, uh, different wigs and clothes, and then they gave yeah. you even more. Like as as you progress, yeah, yeah. Uh, that we were like, because we we built our characters at the beginning of the game, not knowing. Oh, well, we probably should be building them as, as they're introduced. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but still, even then, I this wasn't my favorite part. This was probably my second favorite part because you don't get that in one or two. You mm. get it in two, don't you? You, oh no, no, we just get the pictures. Yeah, but you don't you're get right. To make them. You, yeah, you don't really get to make them, but yeah, you're right. We did. Yeah, because who do you have? Oh, some radio 86. guy. 86. Yeah, he's 86. <laughs> DJ 86. That's right. <laughs> That's the only one I remember. I don't remember yeah. anyone else. Uh, me either. Yeah. Um, so they started going that route. Because season one, you have no one. Mm. You you play the medic or whatever. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and I think you can still... I think you still get, like, disabilities and things like that from being in Outbreak Cities and stuff like that. Mm. So from, yeah. character... 
like customization has been in all of them, but this was where it really got involved. You had oh, three yeah. characters oh, to definitely. make. Um, and and you're right. I think that this is where this can be a good and a bad thing because if you like Devin did, where it's, if you're like fuck, I made a mistake on putting a an ability on, mm. it's not synergizing well. Technically, you shouldn't like. It's like no, you can't swap them. I didn't give a fuck, so I'm just like yeah, just put it on the other guy. Yeah. I would just swap the two should. abilities. Yeah. Um, I mean, but you can upgrade people's abilities in the other two games, like with stickers. So I mean, that could happen. Right, yeah, and it was probably a negative there, too. Yeah. Um, but here, I felt you just had so much customization with being able to, with, with abilities. Mm-hmm. Like, we're Gadgets sitting there, and, and, and as you got on, it's like, man, okay, what do we, how do we kind of, how do we want to build? Do we want to go with team building, which is what Sven would have been? Uh, you went card manipulation. Mm-hmm. That was that was mainly your, your thing. You went, uh, I think yours was, was Soviet control. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, we all kind of ended up with two jobs by the end. Yeah, because I know I, I started I was kind of the medic and the oh, yeah. card manipulation. Yeah, and then you went safe house slash safe house south Soviet slaughter. Yep, and then I went team movement and actually really action economy, action economy, and then just kind of slapped together that infiltrator at the end. Yeah. Right, pretty sweet. Yeah. Where it's like yeah, so it's. Yeah, the action economy just happened to be like a side thing. That wasn't really an that just ability. stacked with everything so well. I was like, okay, I'm going to be Sister Slips. I'm going to go to Kiev. All right, three actions. I'm going to hold on to these. All right, six actions. All right, time to switch to uh, Benoit Balls and then just jump in there. Get more. You know, oh, I have ten actions, and he's just like, <laughs> infrared goggles. Lab. Lab's over there. <laughs> this is what I was born for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, and it makes you feel so good. Mm-hmm. Like you, I don't think in the other two you ever had... Like, you never had such a cool turn. You had g- efficient turns, mm-hmm. but you never had, like, a boom, when? I just fucking found the lab. Yeah, five cards gone. Boom, I'm going to get them back. And then, right. oh, I still have actions. All right, yeah, let's just move the teams around and kill kill people. Yeah, this was awesome. Uh, Devin, what was your favorite? Oh, I mean, I mean that was probably really? my favorite, too. Just the fact that we could customize and create builds mm-hmm. and just see them succeed, that yeah. was very satisfying. Yeah. And it yeah. wasn't so punishing. And that's the thing about the whole game. This game, unlike traditional Pandemic, and even Pandemic Legacy Season 1 and 2, where you're just so fucking defeated, mm-hmm. you're just like, there's just no way. We had those here, but it's like, well, wait a minute. I think there was one, I don't remember the month, where we had, we had a pursuit. And we had to, like, chase them. And then we're like, you know, it's not even worth it. We're like, let's not even do it. And I, and I was like, well, let's at least try. Let's try to block them off. And we mm-hmm. were able to actually capture them. Um, took longer, but it you the, the game's never a lost cause, mm. and obviously we never failed. I was gonna say I was like you, and and it's because we're we're realistic with our decision making and things yeah. that we work together well as a group. Like this is not our first rodeo, yeah. But mm. um, we're able to make those decisions of like, is it worth it right now? No, maybe we'll come back to it. Yeah, right. And you know what they did, which the other two did not. You had room to fail with the with them yeah. adding adequate. Yeah, it wasn't like like the other pandemics are. Okay, we're in July. We have three we we have three objectives. Well, there's only three there. Mm. So it there are multiple times where you're like, well, there's no way we can complete one of them. So I guess we just fail the month. Yeah, it's not. Black if you remember that from yeah. season two, yeah, it was like, well, we can't do. We did the other two, but we can't do that one. So I guess we just lose. Play the month again. Ugh. Yeah, this one, one was like, hey, you can fail one objective, mm. which is. You, you you gain funding, you get adequate, yeah. but you still get to go to the next month. That was probably one of the biggest mechanical changes that they made that was so crucial to mm-hmm. this game not being a slog. Right. Because imagine if it was like, fuck, we can't we can't get Sabic the way the cards come out. I guess we just have to play, you know, November again mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Or we had three objectives in December and we only did two of them. So yep, we I guess we right failed now. December. Yeah. You know, you'd still get adequate on it. Uh, you'd, we'd get a different story at the end, but yeah, it that is just that made this game such an experience. It wasn't ever like fuck. Here's October. Let's just get it over with. Yeah, yeah we know we're gonna have to play this month again. Uh, yeah, that that was awesome. Mm-hmm. And I like how they gave us all these benefits mm-hmm. to make us more powerful. But then they had those restrictions that they yeah. slapped on us. So the game got even harder. Uh, yeah. Just, I felt like they balanced it out pretty well. They they yeah. really they really did. I mean, uh, it was none of it was completely, you know, undual. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, because it's like, it, we would do really well depending on how the cards were coming out. Of course, that's just any pandemic game. Even Legacy Season 1, whenever one of the diseases becomes, I guess spoilers for Season 1, but becomes incurable, how well you're going to do that month is depending on how many of the initial setup cubes are out. If blue is your disease and your nine cards you draw for setup are blue, well, fuck, we're fucked. We can't get rid of those. Mm. But if they're not, and you're like, oh, we only have one blue cube out at the beginning of the game, you're probably going to do pretty well. Yeah. Uh, here they did that, and I think it, it's in incredibly relieving to do a series. It was only 12 games. We yeah, only did yeah, 12 games. It yeah. wasn't 24. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. 18. Because yeah. uh, I hate replaying the month. Ugh. It's never fun. Because mm -hmm. you, you get like a halt with the story. It's like, well, we're not going to get any more story stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're just replaying yeah, the month. Yeah, but they realized that. Yeah. yeah. My favorite part was the fact that you got to decide through choices and, and the objectives how your game was going to go. Mm -hmm. And we did it. We had two cities that had disease cubes. Mm -hmm. We almost had zero. Yeah. Depending on what you prioritize or how well you do dictates kind of the path you're going to take. Hey, we don't want to deal with disease cubes. We're enjoying the Cold War stuff. Let's go ahead and try and stop those trials at all costs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what, it, we have to capture someone? No. We're mm -hmm. going to stop these trials first. Mm -hmm. Which, bravo to you two, because I, I, was, I saw no light at the end of the tunnel. But I think both times we tried to stop the trials, and you guys, you guys were like, we can do all of them. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. Well, there's a few times I was like, maybe just leave the last one. I don't know if yeah. we're gonna get it. And, and I'm like mathing it out. I'm like, no, yes, we can yeah. get it. It is amazing. <laughs> eventually, eventually, we could not. There was mm -hmm. one point. That out last one was like, oh, you're gonna get some yes. fucking. Yeah. What did it require? Like four fucking neutral teams. It was it something was like ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. Our cards that came out were, th I think, three neutrals and a Soviet. Just trash. It was something the, the, ridiculous. Yeah, the random where the trials were happening. Yeah, it was so we had to get three three neutral teams, and then it like also like bound up like three. Cards. I know what it was. Yeah, it took out. Yeah, it, yeah, it took away three. We had three neutral teams, and I think another objective required a, a, a neutral okay. or an allied. Mm. It was the way that the objective uh, cards came out. Really, it was like that's not happening. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, because I think Rome was that one, mm. and then Delhi came out uh, at a different time. <laughs> But even then, you we got to we the, it gave you hey here's some assets to get rid of the disease cubes, like so we went that route. So it's like fine, those are the cities we're gonna keep them in control. Mm -hmm. And there was a time where it was like oh shit, Delhi might explode. I don't want Karachi, <laughs> Bombay, and Calcutta to become infected. That's fantastic. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Like and having both of those options with this integrated into the story just flowed so well. Mm -hmm. That was that was probably my favorite part because it's like, hey, here's here's more elements of pandemic being the disease cubes. No, we don't want to deal with that. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> we'll just try and stop that. And and we did it. Because I I mean, I think that's probably what made our game so well. We did not have to worry about disease cubes. We didn't have to I can't. Like, I can imagine fucking up all oh those. Yeah. And they, those would be spreading at the same time. Yeah, they'd more cards contaminating. Be contaminating, spreading, and then when we go through symptom them, cards. oh, symptom cards, so that bogs our hand down. Mm. Yeah. So, it sucked. Having that freedom to be able to, it, like, the game didn't force you down that way. It's just how well you took it as a priority just elevated the game even more for me. Mm -hmm. Um, Was there, what do you guys think of the story? Loved it. Loved it? Loved it. Mm -hmm. I think um, this time period is just fascinating and scary. I can't imagine being terrified of, of Russia and, and menace. the Cold World War and, and the space race and all this shit. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Like, yeah. all this is going on. And then and then your president gets killed. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Quite a bit going on. top of all on. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, the story was really good. I think probably, what do you think? Do you think it was the strongest out of the three? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think it flowed better. Yeah. Because you, you all, you, you, the, this debrief book was Ooh. such a wonderful add-on. Mm. Because like the other one, season two or season one, you had story 
only through the legacy deck. Mm-hmm. And oh. so it was at the beginning of the game, you played the game, then at the end of the game. That's where the story elements were. Mm. But here, it's like, oh, boom, we di- we, <sighs> we finished an objective. All right, let's read it. Oh. So you were constantly being involved in the story and feeling like you were making decisions and and doing well as a team. Or doing yeah. bad because the CIA was like, it's not good enough. <laughs> I like how some were like a little... Even if they weren't like super prioritized, you could still get like a little card that would help you on a future decision. Little bits yeah. of intel, so you didn't have, like have to do all the objectives. Yeah. So not all of them were super crucial, but then you had your fucking trial. So it's like, yeah, you should probably do this. Yeah, one. yeah. There was always one out there that was like, this is the one. Yeah. Get Here's this one, one done. Yeah. Uh, and the other ones were like, hey, if you can, just go ahead and do it. Yeah. Um, but I love this debrief book. That's what kept the story interesting. I think this probably would have lacked had they done it the same way. If there's like oh beginning of the of the month end of the month, mm-hmm. but having the d- debrief book that constantly oh well you know what are they going to tell us what do we do what do we get if we complete it and normally the the rewards for completing one weren't that great oh you get the card in your hand oh you get it. I mean towards the end it was like hey divvy out action tokens it's like oh great yeah here you go mm-hmm. I have my own generation you get you guys some more stuff so the debrief book was fantastic uh do you guys have anything about the game that you didn't like. Because there are there are a few. I have two that are popping in my head right now. I mean, aside from the typical pandemic complaints that, yeah, sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Yeah. Sometimes the cards just come out. I mean, I don't feel like we really stumbled into that. Like I said, they balanced it quite a bit better. Right. Yeah. It's just... Uh, but sometimes We just had to it just, work harder. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it just comes out just shit. And it's just <laughs> like... Fuck, you know, some of the escalation cards are going to come out way too frequently. Yeah. You're going to stack yeah. incidents and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, typical complaints, but that's just come to be expected that, with these yeah, games. Yeah, exactly. That's so, just pandemic. Yeah. Um, I wish the um, the the bugging in the satellites, like the bugging satellites, yeah. meant something. Because that we did it, and then it's kind of like... Eh. Yeah. I think because we built in <clears throat> such a way that, like, my entire character was safe house. I became the dispatcher. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. Right, you you guys created go there, go there, the dispatcher position. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite positions to actually play because it's so efficient. Yeah. Because four actions sometimes isn't enough. It's and like, you're good right, at I'm it get too. you guys there. Yeah. It's um, so the the satellites were there just to make okay every area now has cover. Mm-hmm. Like we want you to to feel like cover. And I and I think that the the like you said the bugging or the satellites. I don't think they were there to really be a pain or a hint. It, there was more just to give you the idea that you are being watched. So mm-hmm. it felt more thematically I was tied. Say, I was like, it's very thematic. Yeah. Uh, that it's like, oh man, okay, if I'm going to go there, like, if I go into Khartoum, that's two cover hits. So we almost always tried to end our turns in uh, a safe house or it's like, okay, you go there, you go there, I'll move you guys out. Mm-hmm. So it, it was never that big of a deal. But yeah, I think, I think the cover... And the satellites could have been a little bit more crucial, but that could have just been the way the cards, the way our game played out. Maybe, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Someone else's game, they might be sitting there being like, "Cover fucked us," you know, <laughs> like we we did not like do well. We were constantly just like Ugh, scratching away at it. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh, I want to scratch off my last cover. <laughs> uh, so the other thing. Here, do you have anything? Or you said besides standard complaints? Because I have, t- like I said, I, I have two, and they're nitpicks. But that would that would have been my my only real one, hmm. right now. So. My two is, and I enjoyed it because it, it would have been dumb. Like, so the incidents, you know, okay, boom, there's three, and incident oh. comes up. They never mattered. Like, yeah, you take the bottom one, and it says, oh, team compromise. You know, shift each team in a city with surveillance to Washington. Have to, oh, we don't have a team out. Oh, okay, there's no incidents in South America. Oh, there's no incidents in Europe. So, which, it was a, it was nice. It wasn't like regular pandemic where it's like, oh, you have eight incidents, you lose. There, that was the case, because if the if you didn't have these tokens, you lost. And I'm also glad they didn't do it to where the people spread. <laughs> that'd, yeah. be, that'd be kind of oh. dumb. Um, so I like that, but also at the same time, it was like, eh, never really mattered. My second one... I did not like the pursuit. Hmm. Uh, that was my least favorite new mechanism they added. I love the action tokens. Those were amazing. The pursuit, I never felt like we were actually ever pursuing someone. That one uh, that one really was hard to thematically be like, oh, they're on the run. It was more like, 
all right, we, they just don't need to get to a Soviet city. Let's block them. <laughs> I remember, I think it was in the original, I think it was season one, where it was like a tracker, where we had to like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked that better. I liked the idea of a pursuit, but I liked that tracker better. I yeah. didn't really like it on the map. Mm. It felt a little too like chaotic. I forgot they had that, yeah. Yeah, that they, you, there was a specific, you had to yeah. find like the virologist or something yeah. like that. And yeah, here it was like them kind of running, but... The it, it never really I guess it was supposed to represent oh if they're trying to get to a Soviet city and it bounce, bounces it's like it's not that they literally went there it's that we don't know which way they went right like they could so have taken we have to try and block yeah. them off at all at all edges yeah to check all the areas and, yeah. and yeah. finally catch up to them and then get and get them out I don't know it just it was never that fun it all, that one was always the annoying ugh keep right. spreading Jesus we have to. Sorry, what? Go ahead. Well, it's just like it was exponentially increased in difficulty. Yeah. It's the more you put it off, and if you don't interact with it, yeah. it just yeah. it spreads until yeah. you inevitably lose in like two or three turns if you ignore it. Pretty much, yeah. Like, because it was always, especially towards the end, it was like, oh, Soviet City, they start in Mexico City. Great! That's one turn. That's one escal escalation. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think of the teams? Because that is the biggest difference oh, yeah. to Pandemic. Oh, yeah. We cannot kill Soviet agents that quickly. Like in regular Pandemic, mm -hmm. you can easily get rid of any cube. Mm -hmm. uh, here, it's like, yeah, I mean, we can kill them, but it takes a lot of actions. But if we have teams, they mop up. As long mm -hmm. as you can get them out quick, they're really useful. But it, the hard part is getting the cards. Oh. Get the cards yeah. out. Yeah, that was kind of the main use for the cards, was crafting your teams. Yeah. And uh, once you slot those together, yeah. It was pretty cool. That was the that was the main challenge of the game. I, I really together. think so. Yeah, that was that was. If if you had to centralize and focus what Pandemic Legacy Season Zero is, was the teams because the, the cards were used for so many things. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, you need them for trials. Oh, which teams do we need? Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a. I really like the, the mysticism of what like a hidden city might be. Where it's like, you know, it's like, oh, we don't know. Take all the Asia cards, shuffle them. Oh, it's God, an unknown yeah. city. We have to figure out which one it is. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy that uh, a lot as well. But that also took into account the teams. Where it's like sitting there and we're like, okay, it's Asia. Uh, there's one allied city there. That's probably going to be it. <laughs> and we, it was always just like the one. Yeah. The one off color in that nation. Right. And we're like, okay, look. We're, all we're drawing are neutral cards. We're not drawing any allied cards. Let's just make the neutral team. Oh, look, it's Saigon. Great, great. We don't have an allied team. Now we have to scramble <laughs> and figure out. Yeah. But throughout the game, they gave you ways to mitigate that. So. Oh, it's in North America. Oh, it's in Havana, obviously. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that, would, that was always our luck. Um, but like you said, the game, they balanced it, where you feel that tension for the, a majority of it, and then they're like, oh, boom, here's an asset, how to fix that. Mm. You know, okay, pick a city. It's going to go there, and you can... Okay, you're drawing a lot of neutral. You're getting screwed on card draw. All right, now you're getting now, now you're getting the allied cards you need. Mm -hmm. Boom, trans, you know, make it into the allied team. I re this game did not feel like pandemic at all, but still had the undertones of pandemic. Mm -hmm. It was it was just great. It was it was like I can't remember which month it was. I want to say August where the twist came in. Where we were like, it was like, they were talking about the Medusa strain, and we're like, okay, that's their pollen thing, and then they mentioned Coda. Oh, yeah. And we're like, what? <laughs> like, oh, that's the disease that, and then the end of the whole thing where they're like, uh, by the way, we took a sample of it, and it's like, you fuckers, that's, I love how they wrapped it into. Which is spooky scary, the CDC has a right? lot of, lot of Strains of things. <laughs> yeah, I love th they 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 tied it into season one, by without literally just writing it as they tied it into season one because this is obviously like forty years prior to season one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like oh boom here here's you know and they just have a strain of coda hidden away in CDC. I mean it was all the Soviets' fault all along. Thanks. That Soviets. is true. Uh, this game pissed a lot of people off oh, when really? it was announced. A lot of Russian people were mad. Hmm. Well, maybe you shouldn't have had the Cold War with us. <laughs> they were like, really? You're going to pick anything else? Like, you have to attack... And I'm like, really? Like, I mean, we're not looking like the good guys here either. We're definitely not. I mean, I don't you know, know how you base a game in reality anymore without pissing anyone off. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you really exactly. can't. Yeah. I mean, I, I say that as a privileged white male, but <laughs> I say that. The set is uh, right, though. Like, we didn't... I mean, as the CIA, like, we obviously... Yeah. Made a lot of jokes about them being the bad guys because we know what's up. But 
I mean, yeah, it is unfortunate. Right? All right, so here's what we're going to do. Here's the other route that we could have gone if we didn't go the arrogant, callous... Uh, fucking, fucking. CIA all the way. Yep. Baby. All right. So if we had said, let me go up to the beginning real quick. So we could have, uh, yeah, here we are. We often consider the consequences before taking action. We could have disagreed. We agreed with that. We tend to blame ourselves when something goes wrong. We could have agreed. <laughs> Little uh, bitch boys. Yeah. We are willing to manipulate people to get what we want. No. We could have disagreed. And we have emotional attachments to our friends. We could have disagreed. So that would have given... Or agreed. Or... We agreed to that. We're humans. <laughs> oh, okay. We have emotional attachments to our friends. Yeah, we should have disagreed because we were like, I don't know if fucking die. Because <laughs> uh, we went 50-50 on that. And so that would have brought us... I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to see what, what card it gives us. Uh, it gives us card 50. So we would have gotten... Oversight required. You must be in Washington to do the acquire targets action. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oversight required. So that that would have been that would have been the worst one Too if emotional. we if we if we went zero or two. So it was either that one or the one we got where we could we couldn't share information. Yeah. In Washington. Well, there's also two oh seven, which oh, would shit. have been card fifty one. That is this. Uh, that might have been actually the one we got. That is the one we got. Okay. And then so, two. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, and then 228 is 52. So there's three options. There are three the options, yep. And that would have been too cautious. You may not assemble teams in Washington. <laughs> which would have sucked for us because we would have not. So oh. you, so no matter what, we were getting a restriction. Yes. So that's just yeah. how the game was designed to be. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oversight required or too cautious. And then we got, like, like uh, whatever, cocky or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. So, I liked our builders, the arrogant oh, cocky, man, I loved just how, assholes. Yeah, I loved how we were playing. So there was that one. Then uh, we would have had, we are superior to others who have the same role as us. We strongly agreed on everything. So we could have strongly disagreed. We find it easy to motivate those reluctant to comply. Disagree. We find it easy to complete multiple objectives at once. Disagree. Things never look bleak or hopeless. Disagree. We tend to believe all human beings are worthy of respect, and we could have agreed. <laughs> we did not. We did not agree. So, uh, for the test results for that one, would have been uh, 122, which gives us card 53, which would have been passive. You must discard an additional city card when you do the build safe house action. Okay. Uh, we, that one wouldn't have affected us at all. Yeah. Uh, 133, which is, uh, card 54, would have been evasive. You must discard an additional city card when you do the identify target city action. And then 197 was the one additional city card when you do the build teams. Mm -hmm. This is the worst one we've ever got. Yeah. Uh, so then we have... Uh, yeah. In order for us to win, someone else has to lose. We could have disagreed. Yeah. And we believe that bleh, redacted is in our best interest. We mm. went three on that. Um, so I believe that was five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so 153 is going to be... Uh, I'm curious about the redacted. Right. Card 56. Would have been hesitant. You must discard an additional card to do the commercial flight action to a neutral city. Mm. And then the very last one was we believe the ends justify the means. We strongly agreed. We could have strongly disagreed. Would have been 199. And that would have been uh, card 58. Which would have been soft. <laughs> you must discard a city card to do the share intel action. Oh. Ew. Yeah. I honestly think I really liked our build. I was going to mm -hmm. say, I was like, I think like, we went... The it, essentially, it was one of two ways. You could have just gone really like pussy whipped and soft and eh, no, it, everything's too hard. Don't we're don't lose it. And we're just like, fucker. you're the fucking best. <laughs> hey, team. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about lives. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, yeah, this operations deck I think was great too. Like there were, ooh, there were other objectives we could have gotten. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the top ones were all, and then, yeah, other objectives. I guarantee you, had we helped Sabic, 
it would have changed the, kind my, of course of the my, game a little I, bit. I think so. Yeah, from Very the beginning. Interesting. Yeah, I felt like it had two main routes. Either kind of yeah. go the Sabic, the pro Sabic, or yeah. the anti Sabic. They actually, yeah, you're right. They had a couple. I mean, it, this isn't like a sprawling campaign, but right. it was either you know stop, uh, stop the trials, or uh, what was the other route? Or not stop the trials. Really, mm-hmm. that brings out the disease cubes. Help Sabic or go against Sabic, or you know, be aggressive assholes or be soft. Yeah. There probably was an option to be like, we would have probably turned on the CIA ourselves. Maybe. And been more pro Sabic. True. That's probably, instead of all this Hun Sabic shit, may have flipped to, say... Like sabotage. Yeah, the, sabotage uh, something yeah. or gather this intel. Yeah. Um, yeah, something like that probably. So, I like that. I like... I, 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 what I really like about decision-based games is where you can point out where you made the decision. Because mm. a lot of them, like you know, Witcher or Cyberpunk where it's like, ooh, branching choices. It's like, but I, I don't know which mission that was that mm. caused me to go the other path. Mm. Um, so I like the fact that here it was like, oh, that was the moment. Mm. Like, yep, that was, it gave you, hey, A or B. And I enjoy that because when you replay it, you you can be like, oh, I did this time, this one last time, let's do this the other time. Mm. So I really enjoy that. Um... I mean, other be, other than getting into really the nitty gritty of of everything, um, the only other thing I can think of to talk about is what you guys think of the the, <laughs> the pearl the pearl pearl compound, which was in season two. Oh, cool! I, I believe. I, um, I, I I strongly remember pearl being a compound. Yeah. I, I want to say that was like your base. I can't. I honestly cannot remember. Yeah, I, season I two. Remember. I can't remember too much. I have it right there. I bought it again. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get a choice. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of the pearl compound? I didn't mind it. Yeah, that was pretty neat. You didn't really. You never went in there. Nope, barely. Maybe like once. Maybe once to like open up a door. Or something. I was say, like, you just went to in kind of see. the first couple times and and got us through. And so then, I got like the majority of my cover. Yeah, balloon. Yeah, well, a nice was, little twist, you know, when yeah. things might be getting a little samey. It's like, oh, hey, we'll throw this out there. Yeah. To and spice like, things up a little. Yeah, a little, uh, little tidbit of a map where we had to kind of think and figure mm. out, like, okay, well, this might be here. Like, clearly this is like a hospital area. Right. You know that. Like, what's this burn? Which you might not get that, if depending on if you yes. pass or fail an objective. Yeah. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. And I remember we, I, we specifically, I think you brought it up. You're like, hey, what about this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, because... We did not use this map to figure out if it was airborne. Oh, there's your negative. Oh, that fucking that's whatever. Oh, just like a, it's just a, it. It just went the pre- classic predictable, yeah, the predictable yeah. route, and I just yeah. maybe just because I'm mean, I'm a nurse and it's like <laughs> I'm like well that's like obvious <laughs> choice for a good virus is airborne, <laughs> right? So it's kind of hoping for something spicier. I I, gotcha. I said it and I'll stick with it. I wanted it to be waterborne. I don't know what it is. It just freaks me out. Like. <laughs> Literally, any. I mean, airborne is the scariest because you have to breathe air. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, the other, the other one. I don't know what the fuck this was. I don't remember seeing like, that at all ever. Because whoops, <laughs> whoops. We I'm we retarded. are my negative is we can't hand each other <laughs> shit. <laughs> this big lose, old table, of yours. <laughs> we lose all motor function. Uh, when we play oh hey, look. Here's the other map where it says probably don't go there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Don't fucking go <laughs> we here. Have that? Yeah, yeah, that was in Jesus here. Christ. So that's where the intelligence files were. Where it's like, I I, I liked how they t- stashed cards. It's up to us uh, to be intelligent. It is up. It is up to us to use our resources, which we never did. We did for that though, and it paid yeah. off. Yeah. Um, this 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 experience was just fantastic. Mm-hmm. I had a great time. No no. Regrets. Yeah, it was also kind of like a, a part of this. Was it? Oh, yeah, because okay. like monitoring rooms, the eyeball, oh, and manufacturing's okay. little smokestack, oh, and. Neat. Loading bay is the oh. weird fucking thing. And gatehouse is the little fucking gotcha. really Neat. ghetto drawing there, but Neat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So the all the pictures did correspond mm-hmm. to the cool. uh, that that big twist. Yeah. That's always one of my favorites. Hey, open up the bottom of the box. It's like Oh Oh that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, they love. stuck that yeah. in there real good. Yeah. This was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I I mean ten out of ten experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys got anything else that yeah, you want to great. talk about? It's good stuff. I think we really hit on yeah. almost yeah. everything. All right, so that was that, everyone. I'm if you're here and you watched the series, thank you. Um, I always enjoy doing series, especially if people watch them, because I try to. The series is my my contri- uh, contribution to do a let's play mm. uh, for the board game uh, community. So that was here. That was Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. 
Matt Leacock and Rob Davio, if you see this, which you won't, uh, <laughs> but do a season three. Keep them coming because they're great. So let us know what you think of Pandemic Legacy Season Zero in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.